Hi, this is Kelly from Petaka Kelly and Play, Learn, and Talk, and today's tutorial is going to be how to create sound and add it to your image in your Boom Card games. So we're going to use my magical hat as an example game. One of you guys had a question on this exact topic about this game, so I thought it would be a good chance to um, show it to you. Okay, so this one has an animal theme and it also has a magician's hat. So the point of the game is to take this mystery ball and put it into the hat and it's going to transform into a surprise animal. Okay, so the sound is attached to this image. I'm going to show you how to actually make the sound attached to it and how to create this image. So first we're going to create the image. So we're going to go over into our keynote or PowerPoint or whatever um, you know canvas that you are using to create this image okay so let's just make this a little bit bigger over here let's see and we'll move it over huh okay there it is <laughs> okay so our document size is going to be basically a square shape I just did 500 by 500 but you just want something that has four equal sides okay so we're going to drag a shape in and we're going to grab that circle and make it pretty much the size of the square Okay, so we see over here that our ball has a black border and we're going to give it a black border. So we'll do that. And then we want it to have a maroon color. So if we want it to be an exact match, we can always use this tool, come over and grab that exact color. But I think that was the color that it was. So to save ourselves time, we want that smaller white circle, right? We're just going to do Command C, Command V, and it's going to give us that circle again. We just need to change the white color. Okay, and we'll size it down. And then we want to put our text inside. So let's do that. So we'll just grab some text and we're going to say mystery animal. And I'm just going to change the font to this one. And let's make it maybe a size 60. So that looks good there. So you notice over here, this has a transparent background. So we need to make sure our slide is also transparent. So we're going to go to background. And on the opacity, we're going to turn the opacity all the way down so that it is transparent. And we can double check because we have a black and white line right here letting us know that it is transparent. So now we're ready to export the image. So we're going to go File, Export to Images. Now this particular um, you know, keynote only has one page, but if it had more than one, just be careful to choose the correct one uh, just to save yourselves time. So it's one of one. Um, so we're going to go and change it to PNG because remember JPEG will not show that transparent background. So let's just call it Mystery Ball um, for Boom. And we're going to export it. So now we can go over into our workstation and let's see, open that up there. And we're just going to get rid of this ball right here because we're going to import it um, during this tutorial. So instead of grabbing an image, we're going to grab the sound first. So I want to show you a little trick on the sound as well. So my sound happens to be labeled um, with fantasy in the title. So I have a lot here and I am not the best about <laughs> labeling uh, these recordings. So an easy way to find it quickly is to do Command F on your keyboard and type in fantasy. And then as you scroll down, it's going to highlight the one that has that word in it. So here we go. It's right there. We just saved ourselves more time. So we're going to click on that, and then our image that we want, we're going to come over to background to image and select the one that we have imported. So I've already done this. It's already there. And we're going to make it bigger. Not too big, though, right, because we want it to be able to look like it's going in the hat. So just be careful on that. Make sure the sizing is correct for the things that you want to layer it behind. And we're going to make sure it's draggable. And we also um, want to make sure it goes to the very, very far back, which I think it already did. That we'll just double check right there. Um, okay, so let's go test it out. So we'll go to preview and we're able to drag it and we're able to drop it in and it gave us the noise and we can slide this over and we see that it's disappeared. So if you're interested in knowing uh, maybe how I did this layering technique or any tips that I might have um, for you on that, leave a comment below. I would love to do another tutorial on that topic. And as always, if you liked this video, if it was helpful for you, please give it a like and share it to anyone else who might also find it useful. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day.